joint social action is something that we can put into practice through co-production. So specifically on our National Advisory Forum, we engage with people with lived experience of social work, social workers, social work academics, and social work students. So particularly when we recruit to the forum, we're very specific about making sure that we have a broad range of not only lived and learned experience of social work, but also demographics such as age, gender, sex, race, um, and geography across England. So I think people engage with joint social action um, through the work that they do in their own communities and their own areas of social work. Um, and the space that we give them to engage with us as a regulator is another layer that adds on top of that, um, that I think people see as an opportunity to improve not only the social work profession, but also society more widely. I think at the heart of social work practice, um, there is a, a, a golden thread of diversity running through everything you do as a social worker, regardless of where your social work takes you, where you're working, what your role is. In my job, I'm a registered social worker, but I am expected to interact with a, a, as wide a variety of people as possible. Diversity is sort of at the heart of engagement. We have to reach out to as many different people who are experiencing social work or who are social workers as possible. Um, so it's about as broad a reach as possible and, and again normalising that in the work that we do, not just sticking to the comfort zones. We have to celebrate the profession as being the, the caring profession that knits communities back together and that we're not afraid to, to talk to a diverse set of people. And we've seen incredible things happen nationally in, in, in England for the profession where we've got anti-racist leads, we've got EDI champions, we've got statements and we've got action plans. I think that that's why it's part of the theme for this year is to keep the ball rolling, to keep it on the agenda and to normalise it into day-to-day -day practice. So incorporating diversity in social work in my job is, includes the humility to listen and change as a result of the different voices that we're hearing within our roles as front regional engagement. My social work practice background is within mental health social work as an amp, it's within forensic social work, I've worked with older people and I think all these areas have incorporated restrictions that are placed on people's human rights potentially. We have an engagement with power and that's where the importance of listening to diverse voices really comes in and where we engage with human rights we are completely like the front line of human rights practice. I think to celebrate social work, we need to ask people who have experienced that from social workers, because it's their stories to tell.